So that's what they would have done here. So I got my driver's license taken care of and now I'm going to get some food and then head over to There's a lighthouse and a World War II bunker and maybe a World War II lookout tower and a shipwreck And I might be able to fly my drone near all of them. So I'm gonna go check that out and see what I can find All right, so here we are. This is beautiful Cape May, New Jersey. It uh, seems like a very quiet beach town. I realized I'm wearing a polo shirt and I look really out of place. So I might find a new shirt. But it's beautiful, the ocean's right over there. All right, so I got out to the beach and this wonderful lady named Jackie gave me directions on how to get to the tower, the bunker, the lighthouse, and the shipwreck. And it sounds like I can fly a drone, per what she said, because she's a resident. So we're gonna give it a shot. There's a lookout tower. We're gonna go check it out. That's still there today, and we're going to check it out in a bit. Hey, how you doing today? Hey, I'm good, how are you? I'm alright. What can you tell me about this place? I'll tell you all about it. I want to hear it. I just want to check one thing to make sure our computer is still set there. Yeah. If you look through this scope, let me move around here. Yeah, no worries. If you look through that scope, set on the Brandywine Lighthouse. The Brandywine Lighthouse is, was built on a shoal. It's one of several lighthouses uh, up to Delaware Bay and all the way up to Delaware River. Yeah. So are you going to the lighthouse or have you been there? I haven't been there yet. Okay. I checked out the shipwreck. Well, we'll talk about that too. Yeah. All right. And if you go to the lighthouse and you look in front of the lighthouse toward the ocean, you'll see a concrete structure on the beach. Bunker 223. That's what we call the I bunker. I wanted to check it out, yeah. Well, Bunker 223 and was actually Battery 223. Okay. And during World War II, there were two of these, two six-inch guns, turreted guns, which were mounted in front of that uh, Bunker 223. Yeah. Inside Bunker 223, there was a what they call a plotting room. If you flip that over, oh no, you don't, you don't have it. Here it is. This is the plotting room. Yeah. Okay? The largest room inside that bunker was the plotting room. Alright, well that tower was very, very interesting. You can see up there. I talked to the guy for quite a while. He had some interesting things to say about it. 
Um, it's too windy to fly the drone, I think. So I'm probably gonna find some water and then make my way over to the lighthouse and the bunker that was associated with the tower. All right, the Cape May Lighthouse. Let's check it out. lighthouse in the background such a cool structure um, it's still in operation today which was awesome and now I'm just walking through these wetlands to the bunker just walking on this wetland trail and there's a ton of swans over there check this out Here we go. All right, before the wind gets too bad, this is a World War II artillery bunker. So what the guy was saying earlier was that it's on wooden pylons. And you can see that. It is. This is a giant sealed up blast door of some kind. Okay, we're going in. Dang, I should have brought a light. All right, well there's a ton of rubble right here in the entranceway. I'll try to supplement with phone light. I may not be able to get very far. So the floor is made out of wood boards. I don't know if you can see this. Oh shit. Shit. Okay, so this is a legit hole. This may be all the further I need to go. Dust is dust no matter who kicked it. That's cool. What's up you guys? So Future Paul here. Yeah, most of the video is not super great in here because I didn't have my large light. But here are some of the pictures I took of the coolest graffiti that was inside the building. There was quite a lot of it, and it seemed like a lot of the graffiti was really old, too. I just can't get over how the floor is like... But the floor is like sand on top of wood. Dude, this is so cool. You would have no idea that you are right next to the ocean. It is silent. 
and the floor situation is so sketchy. All right, well, the one thing I can say is it's really humid in here, so I'm gonna get out of here and go back to the real world. All right, guys, it's been a great day. Thanks for coming on the journey with me to check out that bunker and the lighthouse and the World War II site tower. Um, I gotta get back up to Jersey City. Get some tacos. <laughs>